guys, everybody, crypto muscle, coming to you another YouTube video. Here we are, internationally renowned worldwide. Syndicate is where it's at, crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network. Coming to you another video, and like clockwork. All right, still banging it every Sunday, ripping and running, ripping away, and uh, continue to destroy. The, the three here may money tree drip and pulse chain all right these are just kind of the layovers of the crypto past because um, these guys I mean to, to really speak about it, they're all a bunch of losers all right a lot of them have left the space and uh, these are just remnants of what it used to be, right? Money Tree, for example, was a no good piece of shit YouTuber at one time and uh, totally got destroyed by me, obviously. I destroyed him because um, he was just plain an idiot, you know. This, you know, one of the, the dumbest idiots in crypto, and now he's gone because. He had to steal from everybody to really win in his eyes. All right. So a loser steals from people. And that's this. That's exactly what Tiwi did. He stole from everybody. Then he left by taking all his videos down, his channel, and everything about him took it all down. That's what a loser does. All right. Um, and go hide out in little kangaroo uh you know land of australia go hide out all right and uh and he's inside adam's hole all right if you guys know who adam hole is, he's inside his hole butthole yeah that's right and so uh all these losers you know just kind of left space over time so money tree was one of them destroyed it right and drip <laughs> Forex left drip. So, um, so money tree drip was the next thing that was connected because only reason why I brought drip along is because Tiwi brought drip along, and so he was saying he was going to use drip primarily the animal farm to help bring back the funds that were lost because he said that he got wrecked trading uh, irresponsibly, which. <laughs> By the way, it is true. He, yeah, uh, in, in that sense, all right. He, he could use that story because he's gotten wrecked several times, all right, during trading, um, and so uh, it's a believable story. But when you really think about it, I think he just stole from his people, from the community that he was building up for this shit project. And the evidence is because, one, he spoke about it, that in his past he had a felony on his record. It didn't explain spe specifically why he had a felony, but if he had a felony on his record. So that right there itself is already speaking about potentially what he can do, right? And then when you started to see how he got into shit projects, um, shit coins, um, trading like shit because he got wrecked several times. I mean, it, it, it all came to a head to this, right? And then when you look at the spending that he did on buying a car, home improvement, and uh, whatever other stuff he bought, right? But primarily, he spoke about buying a car and uh, doing a, a home improvement project. And it's like, uh, what money did he use, right? Because he just had a regular day job. And the only other thing he really did was get wrecked and lost all the time in crypto. But yet he made these big, you know, spending purchases. So when you really speak about it, he probably charged him. Try to probably play it off 
to his wife saying, yeah, look what I'm doing, man. I'm doing so good and whatever, right? But when the bill started piling up, he had some explaining to do. And rather than face the music, <laughs> crypto music, by the way, another one gone, all right? He decided this was the opportune time to pay back his debt. And so that's why he took and stole the funds from Money Tree to pay off his debt. All right. I mean, it's so easy to see. I mean, all the evidence is out there. Right. So easy to see. And because if you weren't guilty, you wouldn't have packed up shop and took down all your videos and all that stuff. Right. You would have spoken about it. You would have, uh, you know, tried to, you know, went about ways to uh, continue forward, right? Because everybody goes through hardship. Everybody goes through the ups and downs of everything. And he wasn't any different because when he got wrecked on trading in the past, when he got, you know, dumped in shit coins, when he even lost big on compounding like an idiot when he should have cashed out he spoke about those things but the one thing he didn't speak about was I mean he kind of did with money tree and he was oh I love you know we wrecked and I want to get you know funds back by using drip but after that though and he made a terrible decision buying into drip with the animal farm because he bought way too expensive right bought way too high and prices that you'll never see again with drip and animal farm but um with that uh you know he he uh tried to use that as an explanation to hey we're going to try to get it back and then after that he kind of just faded away and took everything down deleted everything and that was it right so that was the end of Tiwi, and see, I mean, to me, the evidence is there. He stole from everybody, all right, straight up. So Drip came along, and Drip, at the time when it was introduced, it was already peaking at its highs, right? Uh, when it came to Drip, Animal Farm, all that stuff, it was already peaking at its highs, all right? So during that time, I mean, you were looking at um drip at a hundred plus hundred fifty dollars you're looking at animal farm with anywhere between 300 to 600 bucks for the pigs and um the dogs i want to say they were uh close to 100 bucks i want to say but they weren't it wasn't quite there but i want to say it was close to 100 bucks right all these peaks um that they were hidden uh dogs and ran into or not dogs pigs got into trouble because the contract got exploited so they shut down the pigs and rather than get the you know because there could have been some bad repercussions um by going into dogs uh forex shark the creator of drip and animal farm shut down the do shut down the dogs too and he only did it to uh, I guess you could say protect (laughs) animal farm because pigs was exploited all right so pigs was exploited they they shut down the contract so it wouldn't get annihilated and uh, drained and so they shut down dogs to protect the whole animal farm because everybody would have dumped on dogs all right so that was what they did and then retooled and uh, relaunched new contracts because you can't rework a contract that's already been put out there right you can't just open it back up and uh, make some edits and then here you guys go we're good again no because once the contract's put out there it's set Right. The only way you could rework a contract is take down the old one and then, uh, 
rework the contract into a new contract along with the adjustments you need to make and then relaunch and it'll just be a whole new contract, right? So that's what they did with dogs and then they delay, I mean, they delayed dogs for a while and then, um, I'm sorry, pigs for a while. And then even following up with dogs, it took a while to relaunch dogs. And so to me, it was just a hot mess. And even after all that, everything was just tailing down anyways over time. So with all that, yeah, it's flat for the day. Let's see what's going on in the past week. So down nearly 5% for the week in drip as it continues to fall every week, right? Closer to a uh, Shitoshi than to a penny, right? So you have that. And uh, Forex chart nowhere in sight. But then you have these loser idiots in the drip community saying, well, Forex left it up to the community to run. So I, no, he did it. <laughs> he he just essentially just <laughs> left the community. All right. Like he abandoned the community. He didn't just say, oh, it's up for the community. He didn't even say that. When he last spoke about anything, he never said nothing about, it's, I'm leaving it up to the community. No, he just kind of just left it <laughs> up in the air. All right. And so the the hardcore drippers all right uh, are the ones that said oh you forks left to the community to run and all that right and all the ones that made a lot of money like what's his name barter clown and stunna they're the ones that would say that right because they're the mouthpiece right and they're the ones that would speak the nonsense for forex shark all right and so uh yeah this continues to go down See here, pigs is uh, up 1%, I'm oh, sorry, a third of a percent in the past day. Ooh wee, right? But look at that, damn, down 10.5% in the past week, wow. Man, this shit's, shit's done. Let me see here, Let's see if there's anything new. Uh, let's see, Drip or Neary are suitable for blockchain solutions, but has more advanced capability for enterprise customers. All right, so no one cares. All right, whatever. On that one, all right. And then uh, Pigs, man. This is a, definitely a fall from grace because, like I said, it was peaking around 500, 600 bucks. T, we bought it at 300. Um, and then look at it now, 172, right? Shit. It's going to go into drip territory pretty soon. Uh, let's see what's looking at. Dog, look at that. It's even close to dog's price. It's, that's terrible. And how is dogs going up to 388? You know why? Because there's another dog's uh, meme coin out there right now. I think people are getting the two confused. So I bet some people are buying <laughs> into this version. Getting confused with the other dog's version. And... Um, they're not even related to one another. I think just people are just confused and thought this is the same thing. Um, but look at this. In the past 24 hours, down 60% in the past 24 hours. That is crazy uh, in volume there. Look at that. Down 80% in volume on pigs. In, in the volume, look at that. $181 in, in volume in the past 24 hours. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is like nothing. I use this one that's five thousand dollars, but again, I think people are getting mixed up with the meme coin deal with the dogs. Uh, look at this for drip, two hundred twenty-five dollars in twenty-four hour volume. Ooh, up one hundred thirty-five percent. No wonder uh, in the past day it's up 0. 0.7. but still, that's not gonna turn the needle, move the needle. I guess you could say. All right. Um, and then lastly, I always like to uh, talk about how much is here. So 8.2 million, still not bad. It's still trending down, all right, from what it used to be. Remember, I'll keep reminding you this all the time. At its peak, 134 million, all right. Isn't that crazy? That's a crazy number, but it was true. I mean, I talked about it back then when it was, you know, at its high, 
as I'm talking about it now, as it's down to 8.2 million. So, yeah, it's still money, but you better find a way to get rid of it sooner than later. Because once it's gone, it's gone. Right? Then it leads me to um, Pulse Chain, right? And why am I talking about Pulse Chain? Because one, um, all these uh, YouTubers of the past are now gone. Was talking about how big this thing is and or was going to be, right? And they were on this hex bandwagon for a long time. And um, it was pretty funny actually seeing that. How they were on this hex bandwagon for a long time. And oh man, Pulse Chain this, Pulse Chain that, Pulse Chain, Pulse Chain, Pulse Chain, Richard Hart, Richard Hart, Richard Hart's dick, Richard Hart's nuts. <laughs> right? They're all about his nuts. And. Um, the reason why I brought this into the equation too is because of uh, that, right? Just mentioned, and also uh, Drip was making claims that oh, we're gonna go on Pulse Chain or we're gonna try to get ourselves, you know, some some bullshit like that, right? And so that's why this was brought into the equation of wrecked collaboration. All right, so we all know Hex will never ever reaches all-time highs again of like 55 cents or 57 cents, whatever it was. And it's because um, all the hype that was built into it for Pulse Chain, that was the purpose of Hex. And it did its job. But since Pulse Chain is here, Hex is no longer necessary. Right? So who cares about the volume that comes in and out and oh yeah it's 16% up for the past day oh my gosh right it doesn't matter in the past week oh my gosh look at that up 93% man so it doubled nearly in the past week from 0.001 to 0.002 ooh <laughs> wow <laughs> crazy oh my gosh right but hex is done I mean the purpose of Hex was to bring the masses and any other idiots to believe, and, they, that's, what, and that's what happened. It, it brought on, it made believers for Pulse Shame, and it brought on two sacrifices, right? You're sacrificing with no expectations for Pulse Shame. But at the same time, people deep down were thinking, even though you're supposed to have no expectations, you were thinking that, oh my, man, if, if Hex did that, imagine what Pulse Chain, Pulse Chain can do, right? And oh my gosh, all these projects are lined up for it. So it was a lot of buildup, right? Thinking that this and thinking of that, of how all this stuff is going to be happening with Pulse Chain, right? And, um, you know, it took a long, long time and you know, delays after delays after delays, right? And they, they always say, oh, delayed gratification, you know, and all that stuff. And all it did was just continue to just make people froth, right? And salivate and continue to be hungry and just waiting, man. They got the heart on, right? And, you know, and it just kept building up with the anticipation, right? It, it, it made its tipping point, right? Pul PulseCon came, didn't launch, when that would have been a perfect, I mean, imagine the exclamation point, the topping of the cake should have been ready at PulseCon when they were doing this convention, which by the way, I'll, there was zero talk of a PulseCon this year, <laughs> like it did, you know, in the year past, right? And so, um, funny how that is, huh? Um, but yeah, so no Pulse Con this year. And no Richard Hart. He's kind of MIA. All right. And now look at where it's at now. Where, <laughs> let's go take a look. All right, because Pulse Chain is uh, nowhere near what they thought it was going to be, right? Um, look at this. 
PLS, so the fanboys are all over this. Talk to a few and they're influencing my friends. Mr. Hart has sole access to 95% of the supply on this, which means it's easy to pump, but also easy to manipulate. The concept pulse chain is nothing revolutionary. The fanboys keep doubling down on true decentralization and saying that uh, the reason it's not on exchanges, uh, which is utter BS. <laughs> no, no exchange wants to pick this up. Uh, this thing will probably see some growth, but it's not the unicorn made out to be. Good luck on this pile of shiz. I mean, pfft. that's exactly what it is, right? All the hype, all the talk, the massive, you know, bazillion, you know, supply of what they have. I mean, it's just crazy. That you, how are you going to move a needle with that massive supply, Right? And really, the only people that's really all about it is what this guy said. The fanboys, right? And and doughboys and... Or do-boys, sorry, do-boys. And, uh, you know, ladyboys and stuff, right? But, uh, and then we look at the markets, right? So, a great majority of volume that's happening is on MEXC. Other than that, I mean, you can't really say that safe trade and Zegex is doing anything so that only leaves it up to Mex C and that's it <laughs> that's it damn but uh, so yeah this guy is on to something here this guy's right um yeah th yeah you need exchanges to help spread this all out right and if you're gonna just keep it to the to oneself here and say because this is true decentralization, yeah, that's a that's a bunch of crap, all right. Um, you're not going to be able to get any eyes or volume out of it if you're going to keep it in one place of quote unquote true decentralization, because no one's going to give a damn about it. No one's going to give a shit, all right. That's the problem with it. Um, it's, it's, it's not going to go anywhere except just forming a pile of shit here. So, yeah, Pulse Chain Plus, I, I, I double down into telling you guys the same thing over and over again that it's such a disappointment because of all the hype and all the stuff that it was supposed to make out to be, it never made out to be that way with the intentions of what it was and what it came out to be, right? It's supposed to be better than Binance Smart Chain. It's supposed to be definitely better than Ethereum. It's supposed to be the best of the best ever created, right? That was the original, you know, intention. But then when you think about it, after delays and and issues and problems of not being able to make it more advanced, uh, even though it was kind of taken off the Binance Smart Chain, um, they had to go back to the drawing board. But to me, I think they've already had it because once they forked it off the ETH network, they developed this thing pretty quickly and launched it. So to me, they already had that like almost like plan B just in case things didn't work out. They already had it set and ready because from the time they announced that, yeah, every time we did a test net, things weren't working out on Binance Smart Chain, uh, or the fork of that, um, you know, we're gonna go and and uh, we're gonna fork it off the ETH network and uh, go from there. And oh my gosh, it's ready, you know, just like that, right? I mean, of course, not instantly ready, but you know, it, it the development was a lot faster than the Binance Smart Chain fork version because it took, you know, a couple years versus a matter of months, right, for uh, it to be forked off of ETH. So to me, that really tells you something there. So after, you know, they ran with this and launched it, you come to find out it's only 17% better than ETH. 
and it's supposed to be more efficient and all this other bullshit than ETH. Come on, man. Like, really? Um, I, I would rather just go with the ETH network then, you know? Like, screw all that. Because no one's going to care or form a bridge or do any other bullshit with Pulse Chain. And um, the rest is history. Because to me, I think it would have been a better direction. They probably should have found a way to work it out and, uh, you know, work off the the Binance Smart Chain forked version um, because fees are minimal uh, compared to ETH network version and stuff like that. Or maybe they should have, Tron, you know, maybe reached out uh, and try to do something on the Tron network or a forked version of it, you know, something like that. Because uh, it's still efficient, it's pretty known, and um, fees are minimal as well compared to the ETH network. But yeah, so when you have all that, and then what it came out to be, it's like, wow, that's it? To me, that's truly disappointing. And so, because if it really moved the needle, if it really was the best of the best, and everything that it was cracked out to be, it wouldn't be at this price right now then. It would be a lot higher. It would be blasting beyond hex and all that stuff, right? And all these so-called companies and projects that were clamoring to get into Pulse Chain, where were they? They never showed up <laughs> because they were just like, oh, man, we can't do this. I mean, this is shit. And so, yeah, that's the story of this bullshit shit coins of the crypto past and this is just remnants right now that we're talking about all right pulse chain will never be what it was made out to be all right period never will and you look at drip it's dead i don't care about the past 24 hour volume it's dead man the the drip community chat used to be able to see hundreds a messages daily is minimal these days. Dead. People are asking, how do I get out of drip? <laughs> oh, man. what? That's, that shit's going to die. I mean, it's already dead, but I mean, it's talking about like officially dead pretty soon. Put it out of its misery. All right. And that'll be two out of three. And then Pulse Chain. Yeah, it's going to, it's probably going to run for a while because it's, it's still newer than, than, um, the other two deals that I mentioned, Money Tree's dead. Drip is essentially dead. Um, it's just a matter of the money drain coming out at some point. Right? It's been a trickle, right? Because it drips, right? Dripping away. And then uh, Pulse Chain, right? It's going to run for a while. But no one cares. That's why. And it'll eventually end as well um, because it's really just a shitty network all right i'd rather just go to ETH network what i mean what's the point of going here so uh that's where we're at all right let me know what you think i mean pff, you guys know what i'm saying is true all right so that's another sunday for you other than that let me know what you think I mean, this guy is so true. Focasia, very true, man. Uh, other than that, thanks, and I'll see you next one.